Hello and welcome to another Aggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review on a chilly Sunday afternoon. Today I'm going to be reviewing Hoppy Christmas, a Southwold Christmas Ale. Now Southwold should be, um, to a lot of beer fans, it should be recognisable. Mm, seafood selection. Um, because it has appears in other beers by a company in the name of Adnams. And this is Adnams who made this um, for Marks and Spencer's. As a Christmas beer. Now Marks and Spencer's this year, I've got to say, I think they've won the Christmas beer um, award for this year because I didn't see any at Sainsbury's, I didn't see any at Asda, neither Tesco's, no Morrison's. Home bargains didn't have any. Waitrose, well we ain't got Waitrose anymore so I can't really say about them. Uh, B&M had a few but they sold out pretty quickly so y y you know you've got to have Christmas beers available all Christmas long to you know for that, to get that. So it's a, a 4.2 percenter and it says, my god that writing's dinky. Just get me um, my phone out. Light it up. Flows of wooden bee chuts with their bright colours and smart stripes are a familiar sight along the Suffolk coast, very near to where this beer is brewed. That didn't really help out, did it? This easy drinking ale is brewed especially for the festive season using English ingredients. Double roasted crystal malts and first gold hops create lovely aromas and flavours of fruitcake and prunes. The rich fruitiness of this beer goes beautifully with cold meats or strong English cheese like a traditional cheddar. We shall see. Right, so anyway. Um, chestnutty colour. A head that's already dis... dis, dis you know, Disappeared. Disapparated. No, that's not is it. Dis dissipated. That's the word. <laughs> Can't really see any carbonation and lacing in this. Very traditional beer smell coming from it. Very malty. Definitely a whiff of um, that Christmas pudding flavour from it. Mm, should be interesting. And on the taste, that Christmas pudding flavour um, comes through as well. I've had this before and I'm sure I didn't rate it last year. Well, not, not too highly, but... Uh, yeah, it's got nice, complex flavours to it. Obviously, the alcohol content's a bit lower than what I'm used to. But let's have another thing while I'm here. The fish goes down lovely with the um, squid rather. Well, colour me surprised. Taste very similar to Sadler's Christmas pudding stout in a lot of ways. But obviously the, the alcohol content is a good bit lower. Flavour wise, it's got it, it's got it where it counts. On sale, £2.50 for a bottle, which is steep in this day and age, in Marks and Spencers, although I got it on a three for five pound deal. So it's worth, if you do go down and you see it, getting it on the three for five. That's if it's in much longer, because obviously Christmas season is now over, we're in New Year season. So a lot of Christmas beers will start to disappear. If they're not already disappeared from the shelves, they will disappear. Hopefully, shops after Christmas will start having beers that uh, the breweries haven't been able to shift, and uh, we might get some, might see some interesting beers appear in the likes of B and M, Home Bargains, etc. We can but hope, because the supermarkets. I mean, I've not even. I've been in 
Morrison's like once in six weeks and I wasn't impressed when I went in. But obviously after Christmas, February time, sort of February time, they'll should do a range review for the for the spring and summer season and uh, you should see some interesting new beers that appear. Should. It's one of the noises like that that freaks me out. So, I've got to say, um, very good on flavour. It's got it where it counts on both flavour and taste. Strength is only 4.2, but you're appealing more to the masses uh, when it goes lower down, rather than, you know, the more stronger beer fans. But, um, Adnams, wow. Or contender for one of the best beers of Christmas here. Um, fantastic for a 4.2%, and I love the fruity, the dry fruit, Christmassy taste to it. Wow, I am stunned. Um, that is much nicer than I was expecting. And, and, and I remembered, I mean, it says here, a rich, dark winter ale brewed with English malt, yeah. For lots of fruity, festive flavour. Can't fault it, it's absolutely bang on. And it's described as a seasonal guest ale. So obviously it ain't gonna be around for long. So if you do want a bottle, a trip down rather quickly might secure yourself a bottle and see if you like it or not. Um, I don't know if Adnams make their own version of this, because obviously this is done for um, Marks and Sparks. It says brewed exclusively, but you're not telling me they've got their own version that they're keeping. You're not just gonna brew it for, for Marks and Spencers and not do your own slightly different named version. I would. So, uh, chestnutty colour, um, no carbonation or lacing that I could see, a head that disappeared quite quickly, uh, fr festive fruits on the aroma, dried fruits, Christmas pudding, that sort of thing, same on the taste, absolutely delightful, lower, lower alcohol, you know, we're in the mid range alcohol there, 4.2%. Um, very, very good beer. One of the best Christmas beers I've had. Certainly it's one of the best supermarket Christmas beers. I mean, not been that many, but um, um, I would put this, out of the beers that I've got from supermarkets, second only to Sadler's Christmas Pudding Stout, which is head and shoulders a clear winner. But um, it's very, very close. Mm. How would I change it? I don't know if I could. It ticks the boxes for people who want um, beers but don't want too high a strength beers. <coughs> Pretty much in a market on its own there because a lot of the beers are six percenters. Um, very nice. Can't say much about it really. Out of five, well, now you've got me really struggling. Aroma wise, it's definitely got it. Taste wise, it's definitely got it. Alcohol content, yes, it's 4.2, but it tastes as good as a 6%er. So, again, ticks all the boxes. It, this really is a damn good beer. Uh, Adnams. And what beer do Adnams make, which tastes very similar to this, but stronger? Broadside. This to me is like a Christmassy version of Broadside. And for that, it's going to get a top 10 rating because it is that good. And I'm going to give it a 4.62 out of 5. That was a, a very good beer. Wow, colour me shocked. Right, that's it for this review. Um, there'll be some more tonight because while I'm on my own, while the wife's out, been going. And uh, 
I've got the ass to myself with me, with me kids, so it's uh, one beer, one review after another. Thanks for watching, see you soon.